joined now by fitness writer Danny Levy, who agrees and believes all passengers should be weighed at check-in and charged based on their weight. Uh, whereas uh, plus-size body coach Michelle Bell says uh, this is nothing but fat shaming. Well, so, uh, Danny, let's start. Um, let's start with you. Um, your thoughts on that video? Okay. So, first of all, yes, I think she is fat shaming to an extent. But let's be open and honest about this. I have written numerous stories, real life stories on people who, as a result of fat shaming, have actually lost weight and turned their lives around. And I would argue... So insulting someone's OK? To an extent, because I think that fat shaming is actually saving lives. And I think that those passengers, whilst they will have been offended and deeply hurt, Perhaps that's necessary for them to turn their lives around and for them to lose weight. Because uh, to be told it's OK to be morbidly obese is not right. It's damaging their health. Well, there you go, Michelle. She's doing everyone a favour, is that right? Yes, because those, those two ladies, or the gentleman and the lady, are going to rush home, they're going to book themselves into a diet plan and they're going to suddenly become size 10 overnight. Because all of that shaming that they've just received, both on that aeroplane with the two or three hundred passengers and now all over the internet, that's going to suddenly make them want to nip to the gym because just sitting on a plane means that they get shamed, but going and running around the block to get exercise, that's going to be really open to them now, is it? The thing is, with, um, with that, uh, up until the point... I mean, she's making a point, she's paid for her ticket mm -hmm. and she's sitting in a very crushed state. Yep. Um, I think a lot of sympathy once she starts to get in, insulting. She was crushed, but was that um, by the two people beside her? Because I didn't actually yeah, see them encroaching on her space at they all, were actually. They onto her because You would normally book yourself an extra legroom seat, wouldn't you? So if you have the money to do so. Well, at the end of the day, if you're morbidly obese and you're spilling into someone else's seat, which they clearly were, let's not dispute that, they clearly were, and they were making another passenger uncomfortable, they, I believe, if mm. they choose to fly, should book themselves a lot. Well, firstly, so what, so what you, you can't what you actually do? book two you, seats. You, you, you so aren't actually allowed to book two seats on a flight. Then book yourself an emergency exit You're not allowed to sit in an emergency exit if front. you've got any sort of disability, which a lot of people who are plus size do actually have health, uh, health conditions that prohibit them from using those seats. I think that you're making excuses for plus size people because you're plus size and saying it's OK well, to I'm make plus size, other I don't have health conditions, but there are lots of people out there who are plus size due to their conditions. So the fact are that they you shouldn't saying fly. it's OK that they should make another passenger feel uncomfortable because they're Does that plus mean size? that if somebody is that uncomfortable with sitting around people that they don't know or that might have a bigger dress size than them, then they should book themselves. This but, Danny, can I just say, you've gone one step further with this because you're saying that, actually, this, should, this is more than this. This is uh, fuel for the airline. This is costing more money for everybody because people are overweight. So yeah. you want to see people being weighed at check-in as if they were luggage. <laughs> Excess baggage. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to do it like that. Yes, so how's that going to make, how's that gonna make them feel when you rock, when you rock up and the, and the, and the, the skinny person yeah. who, who stands there in the queue and then the, the other person? Because you've already bought your ticket, so you can't be charged more for your ticket unless, at uh, point of purchase, they ask you for your weight. Yeah. Um, so you get to the airport and they look at you and think, oh, that's going to use more fuel on the plane, so would you pop yourself onto these scales, please? I think that you should be charged for the total weight of yourself and your baggage, whether you're tall whether you're plus size, it, it doesn't matter. If you are using more fuel, then you should pay well, Luke Jensen more money here, who's to a researcher fly. at the International Centre for Air Transport, he said a £50 weight increase yes. would increase fuel consumption by about $3 to right. $5 but per person. Holly, you so and it's, I... it's a tiny amount, isn't it, actually? It is, but why are you and I having to pay... I, I so, have no issue with any of this. I didn't, didn't say, I didn't say you did, but you're small. You're having to pay huge excess baggage costs. What if about if when I was pregnant and larger, mm -hmm. would you have had an issue then? I mean, there's different reasons. Do, do pregnant women now have to pay extra because they weigh more? No, I don't think so, because that's two people. So I think that's all right. So they should be charged an extra plane ticket then. If it's two people. Oh come on! This is you. Uh, you have your say now, and we've heard uh, we've heard a lot from Danny. So, so Michelle, um, uh, what do you think that uh, that should there be larger seats for larger people? There are on 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 airlines. You have bookable seats that have extra legroom. By all means, offer additional seats that are larger seats because I would choose one purely for my height alone. 
there are people who would book the additional seats because I know we're up and down plus size chat rooms and forums along the country, we have every single day, there is at least one post every single day from someone saying, I'm booked to go on holiday, I'm absolutely terrified. Yeah. Am I going to fit in the seat? Are the seat belts going to fit me? Am I going to be shamed by the passengers? Are the airline crews going to be able to get down the aisles without bashing me? I'm going to feel awful. What's the best seat to book so that I don't get in the way of people? Flight travel is horrendously anxiety building for anyone of plus size anyway. We're not silly, we do know that we're shamed every single time we go out the door. Mm. We're also shamed on, on YouTube and on TV uh, adverts like this all the time. We know, mm. we walk out the door and we are the only section of the community that is allowed to be shamed nowadays. Even though uh, research states that 62% of the population, 62%, which is far more than half of the population is overweight or obese, mm. OK? So I knew 100, 100 years ago, uh, an, obese, like an obese person would have, would, have, uh, would have turned heads in the street. It was Absolutely. so unusual. So it yeah. is a disease of, the, of our modern day. Absolutely. So 62%, so the majority of society is overweight or obese, OK? Mm. Why are the airlines not catering for us, for the majority? Why are they catering these tiny, but tiny little seats? Why should they seats? have to cater? Why should they Obesity cater for the majority? Obesity comes about as a result of food addiction. It's an addiction. They're not catering for smokers, mm. and we're not saying that we should be made to sit next to a smoker, are we? we? Have